at uh, UCLA, I studied properties of m electrons in molecules. Uh, <coughs> you know, everything we eat, everything we have, is made of molecules put together. And they have different properties, and these are the properties we use for different functions that we use. And uh, so my, my interest in there was, how do the electrons which determine the properties of the molecules, how, how do those electrons behave? What are their properties? Uh, how, if I give them some energy, what do they do with it? So that was my focus at UCLA. Energetically, what do the electrons do if I give them some energy? And uh, of course, everything we have, every property we have, depends on the motion of these electrons in, in the material itself. One of my colleagues at UCLA, he lived across the hall. He's a, he's a theoretician, theoretical work. He came to me, he said, Mustafa, what is El Sayed's rule? I said, what is El Sayed's rule? <laughs> I never heard of it, you know. He said, look, look at this paper. A Japanese paper says, according to El Sayed's rule, dun, 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 dun. Well, we really, we just had a, an explaining how how energy that's absorbed by light, uh, light absorbed or whatever, how does it cascades into other kinds of energies and eventually sometimes into heat. How this happen? If I have electron that moves certain way, then it changes, it gives its energy to another electron that moves in another type of orbit. And then eventually that goes into another one and third one and then goes into heat eventually. Uh, we had the rules how these electrons convert from one type of motion to another type of motion. And it's very, very important uh, kind of motion appear in biological systems and everything. Now, nanotechnology is quite, quite different. Those electrons, uh, they behave similarly at any size we have. However, until you cut si the size of the material down, 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 and you imprison them in a size smaller, what we call 100 nanometer, all of a the sudden they have different properties. And the smaller you make the material, the different the properties become. Gold generally scatter light. That's why people take it for ladies like to have it, light scatter from it, you know, nice, you know. But when you take this piece and cut it to many, many small little pieces, the scattering of the light is 100 times stronger. And, um, and if, it, if it is too small in size, smaller in size, it takes that light, absorb it, and convert it into heat. Makes it extremely hot. If I have it and put them on a cancer cell, first, if it is large in size, I can see where the cancer cell is or whether the cell is cancer or not. Because I can put something on the nanoparticle that only bind to the cell if it is cancer cell because they have different molecules on the surface. So it binds to these molecules, then I, and, and I see the light under a microscope, simple student microscope. You see the cell shining, that's a cancer cell. So it's a very simple way to find cancer cells. But more important now, if I use small size nanoparticle, not the one that scatter light, but absorb it and convert it to heat, it will melt it. We do the cells here, and we get the results from the cells, you know, and then whatever we see working for cells, then we tell them, try it on dogs. And they, they try dogs there. And there. So it's working uh, both in terms of who has what available. The main thing is if we can stop cancer cell from migrating from where it, where it was to somewhere else, probably nobody will, will die of cancer. Because people die of cancer because after it moves, usually it appears in a simple, for women, breast cancer. That, that itself you can cure, no problem. But it is what lives there and go to the lymph nodes and it goes to everywhere in the body, the liver. And those are what kill people, you see. So now we're studying how can we stop this migration. And we, it, I think it turned out that our method, the heat, sort of minimize the migration of the cells somehow. We try to understand that now, yeah. So research is going very well there, and uh, I hope one day before I die, uh, people get, get cured with that. Yeah, that would be wonderful, yeah.